Hey, I'm Dr. Gordon Johnson from Portland, Oregon, and I'm going to teach you how to make a model where you can practice ultrasound scanning for IVs, abscesses, foreign bodies, place and lines for super cheap. Here's some of the supplies you're going to need. Just pick up some extra firm tofu, also some psyllium fiber or metamucil, some uh, long balloons, and a syringe from the hospital. You need a blunted stick to push the balloons through the tofu. I just used a tongue depressor here. And then a toothpick or a paper clip to use as a foreign body. So this is to create a vein that you can practice putting central lines in. Just take the balloon and feed it over the stick. And uh, bring the balloon completely to the end there of the stick. And then just gently pass it through the tofu. just at the depth that you want it for your procedure. When it reaches the other end, you can grab onto the balloon and then pull the stick out from the other side. Once that's done, draw your water up into a syringe and inject it uh, into the balloon. You gotta make sure and draw all the air out of the balloon though first. You don't want any air. That's the enemy of ultrasound. It's gonna throw off your image. So suck out the air, make sure the balloon comes to the top, and then put the liquid into the balloon. Once it's in there, uh, just tie the balloon off, and voila. Take a look with your ultrasound and see what you got. You can see the vein there. This is actually an image of the model that we just made. Now just place uh, an IV, and I'm doing it in transverse here, so I'm poking the needle in and then just sliding the probe forward and watching it go into the vein. Now we're going to create a model for a DVT. So on the right side of the screen you'll see um, the vein that we created, and I made this one low pressure so it's compressible. You'll see that's easily compressible. On the left side you'll see a different vessel and this one was injected with um, a solution of Metamucil and I put it under a little bit higher pressure so it's more like a vein with a clot in it. And put the needle tip in, suck out all, all the air that you can out of the balloon, those bubbles to the top. Just there again if you're just uh, injecting the second vessel and making sure this one's higher pressure and again just tying it off. There's a the low pressure vein, easily compressible with the ultrasound probe. No DVT. Here we're sliding over to the vein with the clot in it. You can see a little echogenic material in there and it's not really compressible. Here's how we're going to identify a foreign body. So just start by getting a toothpick or any piece of plastic. You can use a paper clip and just insert it there into the side of the tofu. Again, the depth you want, and then start to scan it. And you can have the students scan in transverse and then elongate and have them try to identify what the object is as an unknown. Here you'll say we're in transverse there, seeing the toothpick underneath what looks like skin. And then we're going to just switch over to a sagittal plane yeah, so we can appreciate uh, its shape there. Now we're going to show you how to create a model that looks like an abscess underneath the skin. So again, I, I use a blunt needle here and just draw up a solution of Metamucil, which is psyllium fiber, and then inject it into the tofu. I inject it uh, creating multiple little pockets, uh, just like an abscess often is. 
You might have to practice this a couple times. It's kind of hard to get it right the first time. And then put your probe on there and scan it. And what you're looking for here when you compress like this is what we call the swirl sign. Which can indicate there's an abscess. So when we push on that, you can see some of the material in there swirling around. Okay, get out there and learn some ultrasound. Teach it. Your patients deserve it. And you'll find it really professionally satisfying. Yeah.